Good morning and welcome to our celebration. Please stand and let us recite our entrance antiphon. Men of Galilee, why gaze in wonder at the heavens? This Jesus whom you saw ascending into heaven will return as you saw him go. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. I welcome you this morning. Today we do celebrate the ascension of Jesus into heaven 40 days after Easter. We also have a special celebration this morning. We have a couple of young fellows joining the church and baptize and make their first Holy Communion. So we welcome them and their families. Our brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge your sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you came to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father. You take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Gladden us with holy joys, almighty God, and make us rejoice with devout thanksgiving, for the ascension of Christ your Son is our exaltation. And where the head has gone before in glory, the body is called to follow in hope. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. In the first book, Theophilus, I dealt with all that Jesus did and taught until the day he was taken up after giving instructions through the Holy Spirit to the apostles whom he had chosen. He presented himself alive to them by many proofs after he had suffered, appearing to them during 40 days and speaking about the kingdom of God. While meeting with them, he enjoined them not to depart from Jerusalem, but to wait for the promise of the Father about which you have heard me speak. For John baptized with water, but in a few days he will be baptized with the Holy Spirit. When they had gathered together, they asked him, Lord, are you at this time going to restore the kingdom to Israel? He answered them, It is not for you to know the times or seasons that the Father has established by his own authority, but you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you, and you will be my witness in Jerusalem, throughout Judea and Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. When he had said this, as they were looking on, he was lifted up, and a cloud took him from their sight. While they were looking intently at the sky as he was going, suddenly two men dressed in white garments stood beside them. They said, Men of Galilee, why are you standing there looking at the sky? This Jesus, who has been taken up from you into heaven, will return in the same way as you have seen him going into heaven. The word of the Lord. God mounts his throne to shouts of joy. 
a blare of trumpets for the Lord. God mounts his throne to shouts of joy, a blare of trumpets for the Lord. All you peoples, clap your hands, shout to God with cries of gladness, for the Lord, the Most High, the Awesome, is the great King over all the earth. God mounts his throne to shouts of joy, a blare of trumpets for the Lord. God mounts his throne amid shouts of joy, the Lord amid trumpet blasts. Sing praise to God, sing praise, sing praise to our King, sing praise. God mounts his throne to shouts of joy, a blare of trumpets for the Lord. For King of all the earth is God, sing hymns of praise. God reigns over the nations, God sits upon his holy throne. God mounts his throne to shouts of joy, a blare of trumpets for the Lord. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, I, a prisoner of the for the Lord, urge you to live in a manner worthy of the call you have received, with all humility and gentleness, with patience, bearing with one another through love, striving to preserve the unity of the Spirit through the bond of peace, one body and one spirit, as you were also called to the one hope of your calling, one Lord, one faith, one baptism one God and Father of all, who is over all and through all and in all. But grace was given to each of us according to the measure of Christ's gift. And he gave some as apostles, others as prophets, others as evangelists, others as pastors and teachers to equip the holy ones for the work of ministry, for, for building up the body of Christ until we all attain to the unity of faith and knowledge of the Son of God to mature manhood, to the extent of the full stature of Christ, the word of the Lord. Teach all nations, says the Lord. I am with you always until the end of the world. Alleluia. 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 The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Jesus said to his disciples, Go into the world and proclaim the gospel to every creature. Whoever believes and is baptized will be saved. Whoever does not believe will be condemned. These signs will accompany those who believe. In my name they will drive out demons. They will speak new languages. They will pick up serpents with their hands. And if they drink any deadly thing, it will not harm them. They will lay hands on the sick and they will recover. So then the Lord Jesus, after he spoke to them, was taken up into heaven and took his seat at the right hand of God. But they went forth and preached everywhere while the Lord worked with them and confirmed the word through accompanying signs. The Gospel of the Lord. You know, today is a fantastic feast. You know, 40 days after Easter, you know, we had 40 days of Lent that we prepared, and now we're 40 days into 
Easter, Easter is actually longer than Lent. You know, our celebration is greater than our preparation. And it's, it's something for us to keep in mind how wonderful that is. And, you know, it's on this day we, um, you know, we hear our, about whoever believes and is baptized will be saved. And, you know, we have some couple of guys here being baptized today. And just think of the challenge that we have by our baptism, you know, to go into the whole world and spread the good news, causing people to be healed and people to uh, to see Jesus, get to know him and, and love him and serve him. You know, there's, to think of being able to, again, as, as being baptized, be able to receive the sacraments, receive Holy Communion, to have union with God, to uh, be confirmed, to, to have your sins forgiven, it just, you know, to, to marriage, uh, the priesthood, uh, religious life, uh, all kinds of uh, things. Get sick, we we have the promise of uh, getting healed. We we again, it's not automatic, but it's a great gift that we have in our sacraments. The good news of the ascension is that God, Christ has finished his earthly mission, goes to his heavenly mission. He's up there right now, uh, helping us. He's commissioned us to go and make disciples. He's promised to remain with us till the end of the world, and he. He is, as we know. He's taken a seat at the right hand of the Father where he intercedes for us and the church even today. How is he still with us? He's with us in the church. He's with us in the sacraments. His word, his community, his priests. What difference does the ascension make? Well, it's the beginning of our role as disciples. You know, it's, he promised that he would send the Holy Spirit and you know, the, what does the advocate, what, you know, they, they don't, the apostles had no idea what that was. And yet, you know, 10 days later, they had this encounter with the Holy Spirit and they're changed. They're, they're, they are, they, they were so, you know, at the cross, they ran away, betrayed him, denied him, uh, abandoned him. It's, it's, and here, 40 days later, or 50 days later, they, they, go out of the room and they go out there and to all kinds of strangers, foreigners, and they convert 3,000 that first day. That's a pretty good record, 3,000 in one day. I, that's a little, I haven't got there yet myself. You know, he, he, Jesus promised he'd work great signs and the sick who he lay hands on would be recover. You know, sins would be forgiven. If we let Jesus go, that advocate would come to us. You know, to think of the, you guys are seventh grade. Next year's your your uh, confirmation, you know, it's something to be open on your hearts. You know, he promised he would send it, the advocate. And, you know, we just something, they spent 10 days around Mary and preparing for the advocate coming. It's something for us to spend our time, help to be ready for the advocate when it comes. So it's the, the thing about the resurrection is Jesus said he'd come back and he did. And he also said he would send the Holy Spirit, and he did. His words are true. It's, it's just something. And he said he'd come back someday, and we're still waiting. We know his word is, is worthwhile, and we just have to be patient and do our part in the meantime. You know, we're truly not worthy of all his gifts, but by his giving of his grace, he, we are worthy. He makes us worthy. You know, it's, it's something for us to think of the, the glory that we, fa we will be able to celebrate in heaven for all eternity, being sons and daughters of God by our baptism. You know, we're adopted by God at that moment. And Jesus is the son of God. Well, if we're adopted sons and daughters, that means that, that, means that we're kings and queens, princes and princesses of the king of kings and lord of lords. I do, we don't want to get a big head. But there's something for us to be looking forward to. I mean, it's, there's a dignity that we cannot imagine here on earth, but which is one we're looking for. Jesus helps us every day from his throne in heaven. Let's keep looking up to him and watch his power working our lives every day. God bless all of you.
my dear friends. Prince and Promise have, with the approval of their parents, have asked to be baptized. Let us call upon the Father to number them among his adopted children in Christ. We'll go to the back for the font there. If you want to go ahead and be seated for a little bit here, go ahead and be seated. Father, you give us grace through sacramental signs which tell us of the wonders of your unseen power. In baptism, we use your gift of water which you have given, made a rich symbol of the grace you give us in the sacrament. At the very dawn of creation, your spirit breathed on the waters and made them the wellspring of all holiness. The waters of the great flood, you made a sign of the waters of baptism that made an end of sin and a new beginning of goodness. Through the waters of the Red Sea, you led Israel out of slavery to be an image of God's holy people, set free from sin by baptism. Through the waters of the Jordan, your son was baptized by John and anointed with the Holy Spirit. Your son willed that water and blood should flow from his side as he hung upon the cross. After his resurrection, he told his disciples, Go out and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Father, look now with love upon your church and unseal for it the fountain of baptism. By the power of the Holy Spirit, give to the water this the, give to this water the grace of your Son, so that in the sacrament of baptism, all those you have created in your likeness may be cleansed from sin and rise to a new birth of innocence by water in the Holy Spirit. We ask you, Father, with your Son, to send the Holy Spirit upon the waters of this font. May all who are buried with Christ in the death of baptism rise also with the newness of life. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Prince and Promise, you have completed a long preparation and are ready for baptism. They will receive new life from God who is love. They will become Christians. From now on, we will need to help them ever even more. This is especially true of you, their parents, who have given them permission to be baptized and who have the primary responsibility for their upbringing. But all of us who are, have in any way prepared them to meet Christ today must always be ready to assist them. And so before these children make their profession of faith in our presence, let us in their presence publicly and with a deep sense of responsibility renew our own profession of faith, which is a faith of the church. So I invite you, please stand and respond, I do, to the following questions. And if you do, say, I do. You guys can take off your mask. Do you reject sin so as to live in the freedom of God's children? Do you reject the glamour of evil and refuse to be mastered by sin? Do you reject Satan, father of sin and prince of darkness? This time we have an anointing with the... We anoint you with the oil of salvation in the name of Christ our Savior. May he strengthen you with his power who lives and reigns forever and ever. Continue our profession of faith. Do you believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth? Do you believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was born of the Virgin Mary, was crucified, died, and was buried, rose from the dead, is now seated at the right hand of the Father? 
Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting? Amen. Come to the waters. Promise, I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Prince, I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The power, the God of power and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ has freed you from sin and brought you to a new life through water and the Holy Spirit. He now anoints you with the chrism of salvation so that, united with his people, you may remain forever a member of Christ who is priest, prophet, and king. Go ahead and be seated. Prince of promise, you have become a new creation. Have clothed yourself in Christ. This white garment you're wearing, the baptismal garment, receive it and bring it unstained to the judgment seat of our Lord Jesus Christ so you may have everlasting life. God, parents, please come forward to give to the newly baptized the light of Christ. You have been enlightened by Christ. Walk always as children of light and keep the flame of faith burning in your hearts. When the Lord comes, may you go out to meet him with all the saints in the heavenly kingdom. Now let's all stand. You can blow out the candles.
with faith in the name of Jesus, raised from the dead, according to the scriptures, we present our needs to the Father. For Pope Francis and bishops, may they receive the protection and favor of God as they minister in the name of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For local and national leaders, may the Spirit of God move them to work together to protect the rights of all, including the unborn. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have wandered away from their faith in Jesus, may God grant them understanding and a yearning heart. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For family and friends during the Easter season, may it be a time of witness, growth, and harmony. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, may they enter into the eternal life promised through Christ's resurrection. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those special intentions we hold in the silence of our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all our newly baptized and for all of the baptized, that we be ever clear witness of Jesus in the world, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, hear our prayers, and in your mercy, fill us with what we need to do your work. We ask all these things through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, a work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, and work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. We offer sacrifice now in supplication, O Lord, to honor the wondrous ascension of your Son. Grant, we pray, that through this most holy exchange, we too may rise up to the heavenly realms through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For after his resurrection, he plainly appeared to all his disciples and was taken up to heaven in their sight, that he might make us shares in his divinity. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exult in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord <clears throat> of hosts. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. <clears throat> You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, 
You give life to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. James and St. Elizabeth Ann Seton and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence, we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servants, Francis our Pope and George our Bishop, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom we bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him. O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. And the power and the glory are yours now and forever. 
Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, who allow those on earth to celebrate divine mysteries, grant we pray that Christian hope may draw us onward to where our nature is united with you through Christ our Lord. Before we go, let's uh, give welcome our the new Christians here among us. <laughs> Mamas and Prince, best wishes. You go out there and be disciples. Welcome. The Lord be with you. Yes, May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your lives. Thanks be to God. St. Michael, the archangel, defend us in battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the spirits who prowl about the world. <laughs>